if you look at how your behavior has changed over the past 10, 15 years, you probably, you know, probably has changed quite a bit. I mean, things when you're standing in line, you're you're on your phone, right? You're when you're, you know, waiting in in uh, the doctor's office for your appointment or waiting and standing in line has become a little less um, painful because we now have our the world in our pocket and uh, I think that um, this is a small it seems like a small thing but this is all time that was not available before to do anything this, this wasn't time that we had available before so what are we doing with that time we're connecting with people we're buying things we're sharing more information we're arguing more but I think you know this is actually uh, a big part of the cause of uh, the changes that are going on. We, we've now soon with Google Glass and other kinds of wearable computing, we're going to be walking computers. I mean, we already are. We walk around with computers in our pockets now, but soon we're going to be walking computers. And you know, uh, you think about what's going to happen with medicine when you know we have we have sensors all over us, just the way our cars have sensors, and you know. You know, the thing is that we are, uh, you know, the consumer is increasingly becoming the center of their universe. <laughs> and they have less and less patience. For example, um, I've, bought, I've bought a lot of real estate here and there over the years. Um, Ten years ago, I expected that I was going to have to go down to the realtor's office, sit down with the papers, get out a pen, sign the papers, come with a paper check, cashier's check, etc. Now, that's very I'm very impatient about that. I want to be able to sign it digitally. I want to sign it the stuff online. I don't want to have to leave my desk. I uh, I'm very impatient if they can't take a wire transfer <laughs> instead of a uh, if they need to get a paper check, I don't have the time to go to I don't want to make the time to go to the bank. I don't want to make the time to go to the realtor's office. I want to be able to do it from my desktop and and if you can't do it then I'm going to find a realtor who can. You see what I'm saying? And this is this is just one part of this big trend I I see that you know companies who you know can't figure out how to re-engineer themselves to map to that world are uh you know they're going to it's going to be like the newspaper business. They're going to be working with increased, their customers are going to be just older and older and older. And then eventually their customers will die and all of the new business will have gone to these other companies. I guess the dark side is that if we're all, you know, walking computers, then someone who has control of the network or has the visibility and the ability to see into the network will have um, more control over us and be able to watch us. I think that's true. And if you look at how um, uh, terrorist networks uh, evade that kind of uh, that kind of watchfulness, they don't use electronics. They actually use paper. They hand each other paper notes, and uh, they uh, you know. So, uh, so I think it's true. I think it's true, and uh, you know we have to. Uh, that's something we have to be vigilant about for sure. I don't know if you know this, but uh, I was recently um, learned that my little iPhone here um, can be remotely turned on. So if someone wants to and they have the power to do it, they can turn on my camera and watch me. They can turn on the microphone and listen to me anytime they want, as long as it's turned on, which it usually is, right? Without me even being aware of it, that's a, that's a little scary, isn't it? <laughs>